3D grid processing. There are several processing features available in the grid project mode that are not available in other data collection modes. The three larger icons displayed underneath the 2D screen are angle, aperture, and threshold. These three icons can aid in the interpretation of the 3D image data and are typically used at the discretion of the operator depending on the data set and the complexity of the media. It is safe to say that the operator must determine if any of these features have the intended effect to aid in interpretation on a case-by-case -case basis as well as experience. Angle. This feature corrects the 3D image for grids accidentally performed off-angle or not parallel or perpendicular to the actual rebar mat. For example, if the grid mat lies 30 degrees to the actual rebar alignment, the 3D image will be distorted. Rather than move the mat and begin the data collection process over again, the operator can simply enter the angle and the CX automatically corrects the image distortion. Aperture. The aperture feature allows control of the thickness of the data slice depicted on the planned view. As the aperture value increases, the horizontal cursor becomes wider. Widening the cursor displays more features at a given depth slice, aiding in interpretation. However, if one wishes to estimate depths to a target off the plan view, the error is dictated by the amount the aperture is open. Threshold is useful for suppressing unwanted low amplitude background noise from the data. Increasing the value may sharpen the desirable target, such as rebar, while suppressing weaker reflections and, in ideal circumstances, will render only the rebar in the image. EM Plan View For grid projects collected with an EM sensor equipped antenna, the user can also activate and view the EM sensor data in a 3D plan view. This allows correlation of the GPR data with the EM sensor data. EM sensor data viewed in plan view can aid in interpreting the trend of the EM signal and hence give an indication of the trend of the conductor of the slab. To activate the EM data, simply select the EM button from the grid project screen. It may be necessary to increase the gain to bring out the EM signal data. Once all of the settings are optimized, select the full screen icon. Drill Locator A very useful tool for cutting and coring applications is the Drill Locator tool. In this menu, select the full screen option. Now use the X and Y icons to place a crosshair over an object or areas that are clear of any objects. Select the circle icon to place a virtual core hole over a location that may be desirable to core. Adjust the size of the drill locator to the size of the intended core to give an indication of what the actual core might intercept. Please note that the drill locator is an approximation and is intended as a guide only and that extreme caution while actually drilling is warranted. JPEG Screen Shot Feature Another feature in this menu is the camera feature. Select the camera icon and snap a JPEG image of the 3D slice with the drill locator or any other portion of the image. The image can then be uploaded to the USB memory stick supplied with your CX for presentations or archival purposes. 3D Slice Movie Using multiple screen images, a time slice movie of the 3D data set can be created. To create a 3D Slice Movie, select the wrench icon from the Grid Project Processing screen. From the drop-down menu, select Time Slices Gen to access the Time Slices Image Generator screen. Now, select how much data is desired to image using the depth range setting. The entire data set, or only sections, can be selected. Input the number of depth slices to split the depth range into. Select the desired aperture to apply to each slice. Select Generate 
and the CX will automatically generate the images as a movie from the grid project. The images will be stored under the file name listed under Last Save Folder and will be accessible through the Work with Files icon on the main project screen.